crayon I saw is something that I like to make from time to time. Sometimes I do it with my tablet and the crayon brush inside, but if I want something neater and more precise, for lack of a better term, I'll make it in Photoshop with the pen tool. Now the pen tool is something that can seem a little confusing at first, but it doesn't take long to get used to, and the best part is, you don't need a tablet to use it. I use Photoshop CS2, which is a very old version of Photoshop, but the tools should work the same in all versions. Also, before anyone asks, yes, I know you're probably better off doing lineless art in Adobe Illustrator, I just never bothered to learn how. Anyway, the pen tool can usually be found around here, or you could just press P as a shortcut. It's been a long time since I had to deal with a new install of Photoshop, so your default pen tool settings might be different. Change them so they look like this. When you click anywhere on your canvas, you'll see a little dot appear. Click anywhere else and a line will appear connecting the two dots, which is known as a path. You can keep repeating this action and clicking the original dot will complete the path and make a shape. From there, you can now go to your Paths tab, which should be in the same window as your layers. Right click on the path layer and you'll be given a few options. Stroke, Make Selection and Fill Selection. Stroke can be used to make an outline following your paths, like so. As an aside, if you have Shape Dynamics enabled on a brush, you can tick Simulate Pressure to get more weighted lines. Make Selection will, as the name suggests, make a selection out of the shape you made. And Fill Selection is the option we're going to be using the most. This will create a solid colour out of your shape. Right clicking on the layer again and choosing Delete Paths will get rid of your pen tool lines, which is something I usually do every time I've made a solid colour shape. This is where things start to get a little tricky if you're not used to the pen tool. If you make a line as before, and then click anywhere on that line, another dot will appear, which you can then manipulate by holding down the control key and dragging it around. You'll also see some handles appear, which you can also drag around while holding control to alter the shape of your curve. You can add as many of these little dots as you like. Just know that you can't make a curve unless it's on a straight line. Also, if you accidentally click off of your paths, you can get back to them by clicking on it while holding down control. If it disappears entirely, just click the work path layer in your paths menu. And that's basically all there is to it. After some practice, you'll start to learn the easiest ways to make the shapes you want. From there, it's just a case of drawing over the top of a sketch, or just making things up as you go along, making use of layers so everything is easily adjustable. Just in case I'm as bad at explaining things as I often worry I am, here's the sped up process I went through to create my new banner image, using an older doodle of mine. Hopefully this video has been of some help to you, but if not, feel free to ask any questions you might have.